All right, so here we go. How to neatly and cleanly decant spray paint from a rattle can into a bottle, viz, this thing. So you can use it to airbrush or uh, brush paint. Um, what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need spray paint, obviously. You're gonna need a straw, a bendy straw. And a bendy straw is very important because um, you can keep the can like this as opposed to if it was straight you'd have to do this and that's not very good because it's, I, I don't like it I, I'm not entirely sure why I need a bendy straw but I just prefer it and you're also gonna need an empty bottle this one is a it's a Pepsi bottle but I've used it before to decant and I'm only using it again because I don't care about this paint and it's for it's just demonstration um, you probably shouldn't use the same can unless it's the same color I haven't had any problems using the same the same uh, bottle for the, for the same color even if it was dried. What I normally use is this. This is a much smaller bottle uh, and I use it to decant testers spray enamel a primer. The reason I use this is because it's got um, it doesn't have a lot of surface area and it has a nice round bottom so it enables good mixing and the, the, the uh, low surface area means that not a lot of paint will be lost to the sides like when you pour it not a lot of paint sticks to the sides. Uh, you can use pretty much any bottle you want, but the more the bigger the bottle you use, the less paint you're going to get out of it. Um, one of the most important things you can do is make sure this is mixed properly. Um, I've already mixed this before, but um, it enables a good good paint quality. And um, yeah, so what you're going to need is you're going to need this straw, and there's a little nozzle here, but you probably can't see it because it's black and it's covered in paint. But what you need to do is you need to seal that nozzle inside of this straw. Now if you're not like confident that you can do that, what you can do is you can tape it or you can like hot glue it on there. I would recommend hot gluing it if it's your first time. Just make sure you don't cover up the hole. Um, and when you're ready to do that, all you do is you stick it in the bottle like this. Make sure it's a little a good way down. And you, you make your seal, make your seal on the bottle like that. Um, and if, again, if you're going to do this by hand and you're not very confident with it, I would wear gloves. I've personally painted my hands many times, but I've done this before. So what you do is you make sure it's mixed. You put it on the, on the end of the nozzle and you just spray. And there you go. See, I missed. As you can see, it's not making a huge mess. It's just pulling nicely at the bottom. That's enough because I don't really want to waste all this paint. Now, see, I was an idiot and I painted my finger. If you're careful, you won't do that. Now you have a nice pool of paint at the bottom here. Um, and as you can see, it wasn't messy at all. It didn't. The only effect was that it had gas come out. And I would highly recommend doing this outside. But I'm not going to do it outside because it's freezing right now. Um, now what you need to do is you need to let this sit for about an hour. To off gas uh, so that all the propellant and stuff can come out because if you were to pour it directly into a uh, container right now what would happen is it would fizz up like a soda it would fizz up and then it would go back down to about I don't know a quarter of what it was a quarter of what you thought it would be um, because the propellant it just takes up a great volume inside of the uh, of the paint so if you just want to you can wait and you can keep swirling it not you don't have to do it all the time but just come out like every 15 minutes and swirl it to make sure that all the gas is coming out but if you were going to decant the whole spray the, the whole can for storage what you need to do is you need to get some of these which are mason jars um i this is uh, actually testers uh, enamel but it's olive drab and i decanted this i think like seven months ago and it's still good in fact i just painted with it recently but um, it's going to look, if you store paint, if you store decanted uh, testers paint, it's going to look like this. This is the thinning agent up here, and this is the actual pigment paint. And you're going to have to mix it very well. This is, it's a weird looking thinner, but hey, it works. Um, this is actually a testers liquid cement bottle, and it holds and sustains the, the vacuum, well not vacuum, but seal in there very, very well. Um... And that's pretty much it for how you decant paint. And once you're once it's done off gassing, you can pour it into whatever you want and spray paint away. You don't even need to thin it. It's uh, it's a pretty good deal. But um, that's it.